So I mentioned a few videos back in my Serious Sam 4 review about a potential for content slash DLC that I think gets teased during the Serious Sam 4 story. I want to go over it in this video, so if you have not played Serious Sam 4 yet and you are not wanting any spoilers, this is your warning as there will be spoilers throughout. And before I start, I want to remind you to subscribe if you haven't already, and now we've got that out of the way, let's get started. Okay, so first of all, we all know, or are about to find out, that actually Jones, Kenny and Father Mikhail all die during the story one way or another. Jones is murdered by being munched in half. No. Kenny by being fingered. No, 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 no. There goes another hero. And Mikhail by being stabbed in the tum tum with a snake stick. What does your God say now, Father? When these deaths happened, I was like, oh. Okay. I didn't really expect any main cast deaths, I mean, especially Kenny, who was just starting to fit into the group and had some serious one-liners coming out that even Sam was proud of. I was kind of annoyed by his death, to be honest. I thought well, it was a waste of a good character to die in that way. But later on, my interest was piqued to if these characters are actually dead. Well, obviously they are dead, but I mean, in the future, are they still dead? Confused yet? Well, this is just the start. So later in the game, near the end really, you meet Future Sam. Gasp, shock, horror. Rather than me summing it up, just watch the entire cutscene. Hey Sam, who are you? I'm you from the future. It's complicated, just roll with it. Eh, it's not the weirdest thing that's happened this week. Listen up, your team's safe. Hellfire took care of that, but that weasel brand has the grail and is headed for the portal now. In this version of the timeline, you landed too far to the east. But don't worry, I got you covered. Thanks, buddy. Good to know I have my back. What can I say? We're a great guy. Sir, the pyramid is done charging. All right, I'm coming. That was... interesting. Okay, so did you notice anything... odd? No? Okay, listen to Kenny's voice in this cutscene clip. Sir, over here! Hey, kid. How's France treating you? Oh, sir. You wouldn't believe the things I had to fight to get here. And now listen again to the voice that was in Future Sam's ear. Sir, the pyramid is done charging! Does it sound familiar? Because to me it sounds like Kenny. And this got my attention and makes me think, does future Sam go back in time and save Kenny? And if he does save Kenny, does he also save Jones and Father Mikhail? And how does it all happen? And to make things weirder, at the end of the game, future Sam goes back in time to Rome and enlists Nona. The whole thing is really weird, and I'm not really sure how it all fits together, but I think if this does add up to a DLC slash content expansion, it has to start in Egypt because of what they say at the ending credits. So, where do you think they'll send us next? Someplace warm would be nice. But not too humid. How about Egypt? So just to kind of theorize this, Sam goes back to Egypt with the team, which is also where the time lock was in Serious Sam The First Encounter, the first game. And who knows, maybe it's still there. He then goes back in time to help himself with the snowmobile, and also enlists Nona. But then if future Sam saves Kenny, Jones and Mikhail, he must do that after he does the snowmobile thing because then when you were playing through the game Jones, Kenny and Father Mikhail would already still be alive unless he saves them afterwards and takes them to the future. Can you kind of see why I'm finding this quite confusing but at the same time quite interesting in the way that it could play out? If we are getting some kind of content along these lines I am really curious to see exactly how and when they're going to do it. I don't imagine due to coronavirus that we will be seeing anything within a year unless it was already been worked on before the release of the main game, but who knows. I get the feeling that we will though. It seems to be teased almost the entire way through the last quarter of the story after Kenny dies and you meet future Sam. Plus, if Sam goes back in time and does all this to help his past self, maybe there have already been various different timelines where he fails and Earth loses. So maybe Sam has already had to go back in time over and over to fix the mistakes that made humanity fail? It's a very confusing idea to kind of wrap your head around, but I have a feeling it's definitely heading in that direction if we do get any more content. It would make for a very interesting, confusing, 
potentially amazing expansion that could open up the Serious Sam 4 story even more, and I would definitely be looking forward to playing it. I think there is more to come for Serious Sam 4 personally. There are too many open ends, quite a few foreshadowings within the story that don't actually get resolved. I hope this all makes sense, it's a very interesting possibility, but the voice in Future Sam's ear all but confirmed it for me. It was definitely Kenny, and it must have something to do with Egypt because of the voice line. So who knows, maybe we will go back to areas of the first encounter, or maybe we will go to somewhere completely new. Let me know what you think of this time travelling theory in the comments, and again, remember to sub if you haven't already. But that's it for this video, so I will see you for the next one.